Hello guys, I am the Unknown Gamer Guide and today I have such an incredible story for you guys. This is the story when I punched my best friend in the face. So where to start? Do you know what, I I'm just gonna start from the beginning because this is such an amazing sc story. So basically this new kid arrives, uh, I don't want to name his real name but we'll just call him Sam, Sam is a great name. So, Sam and I was in elementary school. He was one year younger than me. So, yeah, so... Well, basically, where I live, most of, or most of the people is either very interested in football, or sports, or very into games. However, Sam was kind of like a mixture of both, both just like me, and that... that fitted me so great so me and him that was probably the reason why me and him was so good friends and after one year of friendship I mean like every time I came home from school I ran into my room did my homework and ran out to him and we did this for like over a year and after one year of friendship um, me and Sam or Sam Sam wanted to be more popular so I don't know why Sam wanted to be more popular, but to be more popular, popular, I don't know if this is something that happens in every school, but at least this is something that happened where I live. So the people that kind of like, what does it say, runs the school, you know what I mean, like those people who are considered the most popular. The, the most popular person on my school was a complete douchebag. So. To be popular, you basically had to become a douchebag. And so Sam tried to be more douchebagish to come into the group of douchebags. And for some reason, for some odd reason, and I have no idea why he did this, but he decided he's gonna be do douchebagish against me. Like, we had been best friends for a year, and then he suddenly thinks, you know what, I think I'm gonna be douchebagish against him. Like why? Why would anybody do that? Still, until this day, I have no idea why. But yeah, he started calling me names. Like he he said a a Norwegian word for tall and thin, and normally that's kind of like that's that's normally a compliment. You know, tall and thin is kind of like the way most of the people want to be. But he said it in such an um offensive way that I, I found it offensive and therefore I tried to eat more to, to like be a little bit fatter but it didn't help uh, that's probably a luxury problem but still so um after six months of doing this like he called me that, those names I was so angry but I didn't want to go to like confront him about it because then we probably had to go into the principal and I really didn't want that. So therefore, one day, he when he just came by me and called me, Hey you full thin person. I just called him, Hey Sam, or Hey short fat little Sam. And he was so angry. I, I don't know why, I only called it, I only called him that once. Like once, he'd called me those words for six months, I haven't done a thing, and I called him that once. And I don't know if it maybe hurt his pride, or maybe like, may didn't make him as douchebaggish. But, I mean, he got so angry, completely blacked out in his mind, and he just jumped at me and grabbed my throat and tried to strangle me, or... Like, I felt he was going to try and kill me, but he was one year younger than me, so I had no problem to push him away. But as I did that, just as an instinct, and I, I know I'm normally not a fighter, but as an instinct, when I pushed him away, my hand lifted, and I punched him directly into his face, and oh my gosh. So, <laughs> as I did it, I regretted it as soon as I did it because I looked into his face and he was so shocked and after like two seconds of being completely shocked that shock turned into anger and he I don't know why but he tried to punch me 
all the time and I just stood there and I didn't feel anything. Maybe it was because I had so much adrenaline in my body that I didn't feel anything but no matter what the teachers came and then you see a Sam standing there punching me all the time and I'm just standing there and taking it all and didn't and I, I, I was just so confused of what I just did and therefore we had to go into the principal and at that point of time you don't really think it can get any worse you know you have to go into the principal and explain your story and then you have to be grounded and I, I was a little bit afraid of my principal but I didn't have no idea how much pro trouble I was in because at my school do you know who's the principal? It's my mom. My mom was the freaking principal. There, at that point of time, I knew I was in some deep shit. Like, oh my gosh, how could that happen? Like, I've never, I've never done anything in that school for freaking seven years. And then I punched this one dude in the face and I'm gonna get grounded by my freaking mom? Oh my gosh, I thought. This is, oh my god, I, oh. Like, I was so nervous. I'm gonna go, go in there and get grounded by my mom. And then, like a god gift, the teacher the, the teacher that I thought was gonna bring me to my mom comes out and says that she is on some kind of trip for principals something at least and she wasn't here at the moment yes that was the best thing that happened me to me the whole my whole life like oh my gosh I've never been that relieved and I've never feel, felt that lucky before but I still got grounded by a teacher, but I mean, at least it wasn't my own mom. Like that would have been so, so embarrassing and it would have hurt my pride so much. Oh gosh, I'm just so happy that never happened on school. I still got grounded at home, but like it wasn't at school, you know? I've never been so glad ever. But what I've learned is, if you're going to put up a fight against your bullies, do it as outside school. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video and comment if you have something to say. I really, really appreciate it. So yeah, that's basically it guys. Goodbye. I'll say that, but <gasps> a village. Hello villager. Do you wanna do you wanna accept me as a villager of this town. Just say yes over. Denied. <gasps> oh, you didn't have to be such a jerk. I hate you guys. I, I hate you. <laughs> you bike, you gruesome world. The world don't deserve anyone like me. I'm too good for you. I've said my last goodbyes. <sighs> Goodbye, everybody. Okay, so maybe the villagers doesn't like me, but still, I'm for sure going to grieve.
your bike, your gruesome world. The world don't deserve anyone like me. I'm too good for you. I've said my last goodbyes. <sighs> Goodbye, everybody.